Welcome to Paper Train Traffic, a new let's play of a train-based game, and I like train-based games. This was recommended to me, and I apologise in advance for getting your name horribly wrong. Abel Mio? I don't know how close I am to the pronunciation of that, but they had it in their library, recommended I had take a look, and it's train-based, puzzle-type game. I like train-based, puzzle-type games. So, what the heck? Now, I've started this, so I will actually go back to the beginning for level one. But these are the instructions. Control tr railway traffic without crashing any trains. You can stop and start trains at the control squares by clicking on the squares on the rail railway. Red circle stop the train. Green squares start the train. Blue squares switch the track for the train. Hold the boost button or space to speed up the game and get better results. It's relatively simple. I've got to, well, I've done level 16, not necessarily well, but I will go back and start at level one. Okay, railroad open, railroad closed. So if I fix that, it stops the train. And that's the whole idea is to avoid train crashes. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is if you don't hold the spacebar down to boost your train speed or the game speed, you've got no chance of getting three stars. So it's not like boost is there to give you an extra bit of a a boost. It's literally, if you don't do this, you're not going to do very well. Which I prefer by default that I didn't have to do that. And this is, again, very similar. You just gotta time the trains and that one will crash if I don't. Ouch, that's loud. Yes. So you've just gotta time these correctly and as to whether or not to use the button. That one should make it. So in this case I didn't actually need to change at any points whatsoever. I got well I beat my previous best score. Same principle. Okay, I might have to change change the sound because that's really loud in my ears. You had to hit the flip, flip the switch once there. And I am holding the space bar down to pretty much the whole scenario to boost it. And I did that with three seconds to spare. And again, one point. It's not that bad when you've only got the one point to deal with. When you get multiple, however, too bad close to my best score ah yes this one this one can cause me problems because I misjudge things but basically these trains here like that yes if you misjudge them as these two trains circle and you went to dodge between them and I do have a habit of misjudging things there ah! and once again I misjudge things there are elements of conduct deluxe in this game I must admit where it's very easy to misjudge things when you really shouldn't oh that train was a little loud that was a mistake I knew it as soon as I pressed click the mouse. That was a mistake. And yet I did it anyway. Oh, I thought I was gonna make that. See normally on this level the first train gets through without a problem. It's the subsequent ones you actually have to watch out for. That one 
should make it through. You should make it past the first one, but not the second one. And you're not going to get through without all sorts of trouble. I just managed to get three stars on that one. I still didn't come close to my best score. That's level six. Oh, okay, this one I... Oh, I remember this one. You just have to time this bit kind of correctly. I have no idea why that plane is flying. Ah! So busy talking about the plane, I forgot to actually not to flip the switch. Oh. I forgot, forgot to keep the train stopped. But this one too. Uh, let's stop you. Uh, I should have stopped that one as well. That was a mistake. You, you'll make that gap. You will not make that gap. That went rather well. If I do say so myself. Well, that certainly got me a new best score by about 13,000 of my previous one. And this has just got the one point to flip, or the one switch, the one traffic light to use. Are you going to make it through there? Probably not. You certainly won't. You won't. You. I mistimed that rather badly. Train should not make it through there. I should have I should have hit the button. This time the first train should make it through there without a problem. The second one will however not. That was close. much the game as far as I've discovered so far one thing I do like about it is the trains aren't always exactly the same each time you restart a scenario oh yeah I'm terrible at this one I remember this I am truly awful at this one didn't need to stop that train we get going um, 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 hurry up go you'll make it you will not make it you. Yes, I got two stars. Still better than my previous best. Never was good at that scenario. There's elements of conduct deluxe in this. There's elements of Trains trouble or train crisis. That was a mistake. I failed to click the button at the right time there. Or the mouse. That's a nice loud noise in my ear. It's a nice drawing of Concord with a space shuttle in underneath it. Very much a matter of can you get the timing right this game, which I frequently can't. Oh, just slightly a personal bless that time. Oh, another one I'm not particularly great at. Um, yeah, you better stop. You better stop. Go, go, go. You'll 
make it you'll make it you will not neither will you go go you won't make it you won't make it you should make it you won't Much. Oh, okay, this is where the new thing comes in. A railway junction, click here to switch. So, it's a matter of which way is the best way to send a train. And that was not the right way to send that one. I know the first one should always go up there. It's a matter of which direction to send the second and subsequently the third. Go up there, will that make it? Good. Scenario. I actually, I actually enjoy this scenario. That was almost a mistake. It's a matter of dodging between trains. Ah, that was... Is it one of those games I tend to make a lot of... A lot of mistakes on. As you may or may not have guessed by now. The nice thing like the, about these scenarios is they are relatively fast and therefore it doesn't take a lot of effort to restart them. Doesn't mean I necessarily get any better at them. Although apparently I'm 266 points better than I was the previous time I came through this scenario. And this will probably be the... F should have stopped that one. This will probably be the last one I play for this recording. I will stop here and now send you... Whoa! I should have let go of the space bar. I really should have let go of the space bar then. Stop you, now go. That was a mistake. I keep forgetting to let go of the space bar. Go yeah, that way. You should not fit down there. Should have stopped you for a second. going. Stop you, flip that. Now go. And I got two stars, so that's with the, without keeping the boost key the whole way down. It's still better than I've ever done be before with that scenario. Yes, tip, press the boost button to get more scores. Yes, yeah, so it cause more crashes. So that was the first 15 levels of, I think it's right, Paper Train Traffic. This is level 16, which I am not going to complete. Oh, that's just the restart button. Ah, that's where the menu is. So, as you can see, I've got three stars on ooh, the first nine levels. Then I have struggled at level 10, 12, 15, and 16. And I haven't finished level 17 yet. That was, uh, level 16 was the one I stopped on, I think. I didn't complete. And I don't know how many levels it's got, but I think there's quite a lot. Because you look how far this goes. And I assume they're gonna get more and more complex and more and more disastrous as time goes by. And I'm gonna suck more and more each time I get all the way through this wonderful map. Dear Lord, it goes on forever. Like I said, I don't know how many levels there are. I'm thinking in the hundreds. So I don't know how well or how long I will be playing this game. But it's amusing enough for now.
So I will keep going for a little while at least. I frequently get to a point where I get frustrated beyond belief, at which point I need a break for a while from a game, and I get the feeling this is going to be one of those type games. However, it should keep me occupied. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed, or found it interesting, or informative, or gave you an idea about a game you weren't aware of, like I certainly wasn't aware of 24 hours ago. And hopefully I will see you down the track for more of Paper Train Traffic in the future. Cheerio!